Okay, so I bought a mini DV camera from eBay trying to replace uh, one I had used a few years ago for recording some family video. In order to extract that video uh, from the tapes I still had, since my old DV recorder uh, would not even play them anymore. So I got this one off eBay, and when I try playing the tapes, the sound cuts out and there's uh, these vertical artifacts on one side of the screen which I will show now if you can see it's actually on the uh, right part of the screen and I didn't know what to think at first I did a lot of research online and come up with different things uh, but the one that seemed, the, the cause that seemed to make the most sense was an alignment issue. But for some reason there is like zero information on Google or anywhere else about how to align mini DVD, or excuse me, mini DV recorders. Uh, it's like everybody wants you to send it off to somebody else to do it. Well, since I'm not about sending things off if I can figure out how to fix it myself, I decided to tinker around and see if there was a simple solution. Uh, first, I needed to see how this thing really operates, uh, see if there might be an adjustment screw or something. So I wanted to observe the mechanics in action. And in order to do that on this particular unit, Since the uh, cavity opens up like so, I had to get this cover out of the way. Now on this particular JVC unit, there are three screws on the end here. One screw on the side and another screw on the other side and they look like they were holding this plastic cover on top of a metal cover and the metal cover has these little holes in it so I figured well maybe I can get a better view if I can separate these two so I took the five screws out and now I can just work this plastic cover off and this gives me some extra viewpoints here and I noticed that when I close this mechanism, there are some uh, screws that are directly visible in these gaps. So it made me start investigating them to see if there was anything that could be done. Now the first one I'm going to point out here, um, and again this is a JVC unit so other units may vary somewhat. But this first screw on some kind of cap stand roller was all the way tightened down and didn't look like it was spring loaded or anything like that. But I did try working it loose while the uh, unit was playing and it only made matters worse. Um, now some of the posts I was reading about talking about um, aligning these heads suggested that maybe the process might involve adjusting the uh, pitch by adjusting not the head itself but the feed rollers. Um, now watching the mechanism as it closes and opens the tray and, and ejects tapes and loads vice versa these two cat stands here um, seem to wrap the tape around the head and then retract when the tape is ejected they also have this funny little, um, it's almost like a solid screwdriver head except for a center tip, like some sort of security screw. I don't have any bit for that. Um, but I noticed with this unit open, uh, I don't know if you can see here, I'll try to get as good an image as possible, but the one on the right um, it's a very flimsy mechanism 
doesn't appear, appear to be supported by a spring but looks like there may be some adjustment on it the one on the very far back left has an obvious spring below it so maybe adjusting the head would adjust the height now this gives uh, the person tinkering with this some, uh, some options to look at and I'm going to tell you what worked for me. What worked for me may or may not work for you. Um, but when I was actually playing the tape, I was putting a little pressure on that one right cap stand, basically working it very slightly back and forth and watching the picture on the viewfinder and listening to the sound. And I noticed that with slight pressure, and, uh, and too much pressure actually made it worse. Uh, I got the artifacts on the left side of the screen instead of the right. But just the right slight pressure straightened the image up perfectly, and the audio was perfect. So this confirms that it was an alignment issue. Um, so to make this permanent, and since I don't have the proper head, what I would do and uh, again having as much out of the way here helps as possible and your particular unit may be harder or more difficult or easier hopefully to do this but I took the smallest needle in those pliers I had and went in to that little I'm hoping I'm getting this on, on camera um, the head of that little thing and gave it a clockwise turn just a little bit and I can tell by watching the slot in the head that it does turn maybe tightening it and lowering it just like it was when I was putting slight pressure on it And of course, this is going to take trial and error, um, but this is about where I had it before, before I put it back the way it originally was. I'm looking at the angle of the slots compared to everything around it. And this piece is very flimsy. Okay, so I'm going to try that and see what happens. With any luck, I get no artifacts and no audio breakup. And there it is. Perfect image. Perfect audio. Off of a tape that was recorded on my previous unit that previously, well, it wouldn't uh, play it all to the unit. And if it's not going to play it all, if it's not going to play perfectly on the unit, it's not going to play uh, any better when you hook it up to a computer and try to. Uh, pull the video off it's going to do the same thing so you got to fix the problem in the unit itself before you even hook it up but hopefully this will give somebody else uh, some ideas to try if they run into something like this thanks for watching